Um, let's talk about the Royals because um, the Sun has got a piece which has got a great headline. I can't believe nobody's thought of this before. Anus Haribulus. I said it last week, so I'm claiming you? ownership. Are of you this. claiming it? That's brilliant because I hadn't that thought of it. That is weak. Haribulus. No, that is weak. I liked your joke earlier, but that is not <laughs> a good one. I think this is great. Harry and Meghan crowned biggest losers by Hollywood Bible uh, after being slammed for moaning and having written a whiny biography. And this is also on the back of the news that the Archibald Foundation is losing a bucket load of money because uh, nobody wants to give them anymore. Nine million pounds less yeah. in donations than last year. Well, do you know, my theory, as I said to Jenny Bond, is that he probably put that money in himself. Yeah, well, it's two big donors, so it yeah. could be He could be one of them. Those two, yeah. You know, because if you were trying to get a charity going and you had a load of money, you wouldn't want it to look as if you didn't get any donors. So you'd go, we better either get some of our friends to give some money, or maybe we should. But that's just it. Where are these super rich friends of theirs? Where's Oprah Winfrey? Where are these Kardashians they keep talking yeah. about being bosom buddies with? Where's right. Serena Williams? You know, money speaks louder than words, and they like to talk about these associations. Yes. But so when, when they're, they're very thin on the ground, and you think they want to help start up this... But this is from The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter is a very substantial, you know, news source in, in America, and also very, very well plugged into mm. Hollywood and, and all of the kind of, you know, the and studios. And calls them the biggest losers. Yeah, and we're hearing <laughs> from, from, from uh, that part of the world that she may be being dropped by a talent agency, which is also huge, because if she doesn't have them representing her, even if somebody else picks her up, it's still a terrible, terrible thing to happen if you're if you're a celeb. Yeah, I mean, there's a guy in this piece by the, in the Sun, um, which who makes the point that equally the Duke and Duchess are still far from out. They're a magnetic couple whom the world is hugely interested in. I think I mean. Yeah, but it's I'd not like metal. To... Well, but it's Toby. Have, but it's not metal. I don't have much time for the grifters of Montecito, but they are still box office. You know, they are still a magnetic. Not what they were though. I don't they're think they're but... sort of losers. But I know, but. Anything royal is kind of fascinating. Yeah, but that's the problem but because the, they're not. I think the big companies who were going to put tens yeah, of millions of dollars. Yeah, are pulling away from them. Yeah, and uh, instead of putting that sort of sums in, they're going to sort of half the sum or a quarter yeah. of the sum. I think that's kind of 